Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the latest booster set, Duelist Nexus, or Dune, for all the Dune fans out there. Uh, we're going to jump into it here. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to us uh, and we appreciate the support of everyone. Uh, but we just got off of a uh, great week of doing the nostalgia openings of five of the early sets that came out. Uh, it was a great set of videos. If you haven't checked them out, be sure to go uh, take a look. They were uh, some of the better openings that we have had on the channel. We got a lot of good hits. A lot of the good secret rares had a lot of good luck uh, throughout all the videos. So definitely worth watching. Uh, be sure to go and check them out. Uh, if you're seeing this now, uh, the giveaway for last month uh, should also be announced. So go check it out to see if you've won. And we'll get into it here. So, Duelist Nexus, we've got a chance to get quarter century rares. There's a lot of good uh, quarter century rares in it. There's a couple that are worth uh, lower values than the actual value of the box as well. Uh, but any quarter century rare is a good pickup, in my opinion. Uh, mostly because we've not gotten one. Uh, the set value, box value, has dropped off uh, quite a bit since the initial uh, purchase date to purchase times when it was there announced uh sets kind of just fallen hard uh so that is something to be wary of here we got signs of the chistina wheel synchron and we got infernal note with night rickia ghetto or something but kind of a you know a good thing i guess you know if the if the value of the set or the box does fall if you are hunting some of those bigger ticket uh, quarter century rares in particular, um, definitely, obviously the boxes are only $55 a piece, a little bit easier to get your hands on and uh, run those down. Whereas when they were $72 a piece, we got Ultra Guy, Smell Wisp, and I had a little bit more painful to uh, try to take the uh, the chance to <laughs> try to try to get one of them when Many of them were not running at that. The Secrets, not doing great. Revolution Secron, uh, still best card in the set of the non-quarter century rares. Uh, I think we're all giving that one a lot of uh, a lot of credits or a lot of uh, preemptive. Uh, we got Manadium Torrid as our super in this set, uh, giving it a lot of pre-foresight uh, as to thinking it's going to be some sort of Big hit, uh, but we don't really know where it's going to go uh, overall. So be interesting to see how it plays out, see how it shakes down. Crimson Dragon in this set. Got a couple prints, both as a quarter century and a secret rare. And then there's an ultra rare version as well. Uh, Ex Purely Noir as well is going to have a good print within. We got Super Heavy Samurai, Agnamal Candle. And we got our first ultra of the set, which is Unchained Sword, Lo Sword Lord. It's Soul Lord of Yama uh, there. Like I said, the ultras are not holding up well, uh, which is to be expected. We got the Greed Jar and the Realm Renaissance Resonance. Resonance, that's not Renaissance. Set does introduce... The illusion magician or the illusion type monsters as well so we do get a new uh, archetype within the set uh, so we'll be interested to see where that goes infernal noble knight turpin here and with that there's been some speculation behind these illusion monsters and then konami has placed on the ocg website a countdown timer by the time you're seeing this is either going to be down to two days or one day um, left remaining the announcement is going to come on the second day of worlds which is currently uh, going to be in japan that's just got a weird background print altergeist paratrader there uh, but they've got a countdown clock running on the ocg website so it's in japanese it says that you know as part of the 25th anniversary, there's some some change coming to Yu-Gi-Oh! And it's happening during the World Championships. And I've seen a lot of speculation that, you know, people are thinking, 
Do we have a new movie coming out? Do we have a new anime? We've seen speculation, well, it's a new anime that continues off of the Duel Monsters uh, Battle City arc with our original characters, Ersotic Polar Star, which would be really cool because um, the illusion archetype monsters all have the eye of Anubis. I would like to get one here so I could point that out, but also have it on that. And in later seasons, they kind of moved away from the ancient Egypt theme um, through the show, obviously GX. Uh, had a little bit of a tie-in, but not too much. But then later episodes, you know, obviously our later series, 5Ds, Frains, etc. Didn't really go in to... Oh, we do have our first secret rare, and it is Nightmare Magician. So you see, it's a good secret rare. Uh, it's not one of the best, it's not the best, but it is a good one here. And so you see, like, if we can get a good glimpse, right? We have some of the, you know, Eye of Anubis markings here. It's going to focus on my finger, but... I have Anubis, so there's theories. Okay, we're getting, you know, Egyptian themes again. We're gonna be seeing some of our older characters maybe in a new movie, a new anime, you know, who knows. Um, also because every protagonist in the anime has had their star monster have 2,500 attack. Um, you know, obviously Dark Magician, Sargus Dragon. Um, it's a very common, you know, trope for them to do that. And Illusion Magician has, or sorry, Nightmare Magician has 2,500 attack. So everyone's thinking, okay, well, you know, it's going to be the next main character's go-to monster. We got Red Eyes, Black Meteor Dragon. It's a good-looking card right there. A good-looking card. Realm Resonance, again, not Renaissance. But everyone's thinking, okay, well, maybe... We're gonna see some some new new uh, anime protagonists utilize these illusion illusion magicians as their go-to, and and I think that you know maybe that is the case. Generally, new anime also comes with some sort of new summoning mechanic. We haven't had one for a while. I'm gonna get to oh, we got Chimera King of the Phantom Beast as an ultra rare. That's a pretty good ultra as well. And all of the like uh, illusion magicians all are currently kind of tied to Yugi. Like it's Nightmare Magician, so it kind of seems like a Dark Magician. There's Chimera, um, or sorry, not Chimera, Gazelle. And Yugi is Gazelle, King of the Mythical Beasts. Um, so I, I think there's a lot of good speculation there. It just seems weird that they would announce an anime or a movie during a OCG um, event, TCG event, while we're focused on cards as opposed to at some sort of bigger, you know, jump fest, something like that. Uh, 12-pack. So I, I think there's some merit there. And then we're overdue, due, overdue, overdue for a new master rule as well. Haven't had one for a mighty Dino King Rex as a super there. Overdue for the next Master Rule. Generally those though come out in April. So again, just very off schedule, but being that they're so far behind and we don't have a new mechanic or anything. So it's wondering what they're gonna actually put out for, for such an item. Um, we got Thestalos, the Shadowfire Monarch, Resonance again, Scuffle, and Blade Dragon, and Aluv. What they're going to put out for, for that in terms of what, what the Master Rule would encompass. You know, they're going to try to use the Master Rule to combat some of the summoning mechanics of some of these other Gaia Blaze. And we'll just see New World, Amritara, Super Rare, Emergency, Greed Jar, Zotomazorus, Click and Echo. So I, I like the theory of Master Rule, though. I, I really do. I think that's got probably the best.
card events, card rule, good announcement. But is that something that's really 25th anniversary worthy? Probably not. I, I don't see why I would put that up, you know, on my website, hyping that out. We got Hound of the Testina. Doesn't doesn't seem worth uh, a an, a big announcement, a countdown timer. Just doesn't. As much as people want. Then you gotta think, well, maybe the best guess is Rush Duel being a Japanese currently only item coming over. We've got Ultra Geist Adminia as a Ultra. So that's our fourth Ultra or better. Again, Ultras are not as great in this set, but it's nice to get them. But it's, you know, maybe that's coming over and they're gonna release some variants of that in the TCG world, you know, in English print, as opposed to it just being in uh, Japanese. And so maybe we're getting that, but again, it's only in, you know, Japan, Synchro Force Back Super is the only place where we're seeing on the OCG version of, of Konami's website. So if they were gonna announce it for America, and the English world, why is the countdown not on the American English website and, you know, the Canadian and the, you know, UK and all the other websites around the world and only on the OCG site? Synchro World, and then that's Chimera Fusion for Super. So I... I Rush, Rush Duel coming, you know, with those cards and everything. I know that's a very disputed topic. It'll be interesting. I think there's some merit to it because it would change the game. And it would change kind of, it'd be a big move. It makes sense because it's card-based, just like Master uh, the Master Rule would be. Gazelle, King of the Mythical Claws. But it's not really hitting the market that it should be in, the announcement or the countdown, if it's only on the OCG website. So let me know what you think. What what do you think it's going to be? I, I, I think Master Rule sounds great. I think Rush Duel has possibilities, you know, coming to the United States, but they both have kind of their their flaws. Okay, Sinful Spoils of Subversion, Snake Eye, is a good secret rare. We'll take it. We'll take it. Hopefully we uh, don't lock ourselves out of a quarter century rare chance though now. But I'd like to know. I'd like to know what you guys think. We are overdue for a master rule. I just don't think a new anime. I would love though a new anime focused on, you know, the the original gang, Duelist Genesis. That would be, I, I think, in terms of revitalizing the card game as a whole, both TCG and OCG, as well as getting people back would do wonders. I think we had a boom during, you know, the rush of everyone wanting to collect things, you know, a couple of years ago, obviously the grading rush of grading cards. We got Angelica, Princess of the Noble Arms. That's a good looking card. I really do like the artwork there. I need a good focus. That is our sixth ultra rare, so probably not going to get another one unless we got an error box. But we did have a boom. I think it would bring people back. I, I think people would become invested if the storyline was good. I think Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens, things like that in the monitor, I think that it's hard to reach the... We got Magnum the Reliever. It's hard to reach the market that you want um, 
with newer stuff that you get more nostalgia. And I, and I think that's kind of, you know, a, a trope at this point to say it's nostalgia, it's nostalgia, it's nostalgia, but you really hit people with, hey, look, it's the gang again. You know, obviously they had like Pokemon Journeys when, you know, they brought Ash back. They, you know, started focusing heavily with Ash and Brock and, you know, kind of the old gang on like a final run. And it, and it really did well. Magician of Faithfulness. Okay, they just copied whatever um, Magician of Faith. <laughs> same same artwork, uh, just with a nicer hollow pattern there. But I think it brings people back. I think people remember it and will be like, you know what, I really did like the original, you know, Duelist Kingdom arc. I really liked Battle City. So let me know what you think. It's going to be... I, I hold out hope for an anime, but... My my bet is that's going to be something related to either Master Duel, not Master Duel, Master Rule, um, or a uh, Rush Duel. Rush Duel is probably my leading theory in the end. So these were our two secret rares we got. Nightmare Magician, new illusion type, archetype, very cool looking. And uh, Sinful Spoils, which is a good card uh, and also a good uh, secret rare. So got a little bit of damage on top, no big deal. Uh, we wouldn't be selling it anyway, so... I appreciate you guys stopping in. Let me know what your thoughts are, and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.